Hello, I'm going to give you a quick uh, look at standard form. So we're going to go through converting numbers to standard form and converting a number from standard form into an ordinary number. So this will be a very quick overview. We'll start off with what is standard form. Uh, standard form is a way of writing very large numbers and very small numbers. You can actually write any number in standard form, but it's most useful with big numbers. For starters, it takes ages to type out all the digits uh, if we're writing them uh, like this. And also it's quite hard to see which number here is the biggest number. So we uh, use standard form, a way of numbers, uh, uh, writing numbers, especially for big and small numbers. Also called scientific notation by some, uh, or standard index form. Uh, right. This is the format of every number that's in standard form. It's a number, x, multiplied by 10 to the power of something. And very important that you recognise that x must be a number between 1 and 10. x must be a number between 1 and 10. That is very important. If it's not, if this is 0 point something, it's not in standard form. If this is 13, 14, 110, it's not in standard form. It must be a number between 1 and no bigger than 9.9999. And then n is an integer, whole number. It can be negative, uh, it can be uh, positive, but it must be a whole number. It can't be a decimal or a fraction. That is the format of any number in standard form. It's a number multiplied by 10 to the power of n. So let's convert a number here. We have 356,000. To convert that into standard form, all we do is we go after that first digit, put a dot, put a decimal point, 3.56. And then we're going to say, what do I do to get 3.56? What do I do to make that? 356,000. Well, I'm going to take that uh, 3.56 and I'm going to have to multiply it by 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. And so 3.56 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 5 times is 356,000. So what you do is you put a decimal point after the first digit, after the three there, and then you count how many digits I've got. One, two, three, four, five, after the first one. And that is how we write a large number in standard form. If we move on then, uh, converting uh, from standard form into an ordinary number, well this times 10 to the power of 6 means that I take 1.27 and I times it by 10 six times. So 1.27 gets multiplied by 10 six times. That means that we have one, and then we have two, seven. We've multiplied that point by one ten, two tens. We need to do three, four, five, six. And let's just check that. If I put the decimal point here, have I moved one, two, three, four, five, six places. Yes. So, after the first uh, digit, we need to count six more digits to make that the right size. Moving on to small numbers. Uh, converting this number into uh, standard form, well, this is a very small number, 0 0.00067. So what we do is we do the same. We come from the left, go along here, until we get to the first non-zero digit and we're going to put our decimal point. So 0 0.00006.7 there, let's put 6.7 and then we need to consider what we've done to that 6.7 to make it this size. Well, we've divided it by 10, we've moved it to the right, how many places? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 places. So I've done 6.7 divided by 10 six times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. However, this is not in standard form because we have to write it as uh, 6.7 times 10 to the power of something. 
Well, times ten to the power negative six is the same as dividing by ten to the power six. Ten to the power negative six is one over ten to the power six. So we get small numbers you're going to do to the power of a negative. Does that make sense? And the last thing for converting these numbers is how we convert this into an ordinary number. Well, this means divide by 10 four times. So I'm going to take the 8.97 and I'm going to divide it by 10 one, two, three, four times. So I would get 0 0.000897. And there's a little trick for this one. It's important to know that this uh, decimal point goes from the 8.97, one, two, three, four places. Or we divide the number, the number should move to the right. But there's a little trick, and be very careful with this trick because it only works um, if you really understand what's going on and you can check it. But the trick is, if it's a negative four there, I can just count all the zeros, including this first one. One, two, three, four zeros. 10 to the power negative 4. That only works with small numbers and it is a trick so make sure you understand why it works. Alright, that is uh, all the things you need. If you didn't quite follow that, go back, watch it again, pause it, have a go at the questions. One last thing is uh, use of a calculator. I would like you to go away, have a play with your calculator. You've got one of these two buttons, usually at the bottom of your calculator, and these are how we do standard form. So for example, 3.2 times 10 to the power of 6. In your calculator, you would type 3.2, either the EXP button or the, 10 to the times 10 to the power of X button, and then you put the 6. Have a play. See what you do. Thanks for watching.